welcome to another episode of Charlie Drives. This is W there in front. Welcome to another episode of Charlie Drives. Today, you join me for the 70th anniversary of Lotus. And we are in the new Avora, which is quite exciting. Um, and for the first time, we've also got the, we've got the Esprit with us as well, driven by my uncle. And I think this is, this will be the first ever time I'm, I'm driving another car and actually seeing the Esprit from a different car, which is a bit weird. So it should be good, should be good fun. As you can see, we've got family with us today. Isabella is in the back seat. Woo! Just demonstrating the usability of this car. Uh, we're just about to meet up with about 20 other Lotuses at Newmarket um, for a big convoy journey all the way to Hethel. Uh, and we've already met up with a few cars on the A14 itself. Ah, yeah. We're coming off at this exit, Uncle Ian, so get into the into the slow lane. Woo! Okay. Uh, that's Jules and Ruth. Okay, here we go, first stop done. And we are now traveling in convoy. Okay. <laughs> I'm hanging. 
Hey mate, how you doing? Yeah, good. We are literally on the Five Ways roundabout right now. Where are you? Are uh, you? My car's been walking. Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah. no! They took a, they took a, they took a Okay, mate. Well, we are. We, we. There's about thirty other Lotuses we're with right now. I can hear them. Can hear them. <laughs> it's it's mental. It's sounding good. Yeah. It's, good. it's crazy. It's really quite an emotional feeling, this, actually. It's almost as if all of the lotuses are being summoned home back to their, back to where they were born. It's, oh, man, it's what I ran. It's really, really nice. Mate, I was just in mid-vlog flow and you ruined it. traffic jam um, just outside of Hethel a little bit stressful this window then? Um, um, both of them are doing it. If you listen, if you listen to this, you go clunk. Good thing you come to the factory then, isn't it? Yeah, I can get to fix it for you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be part of a world record. Shall I make you feel bad? Yeah. I got some quick show and detailer in my car. If you want? <laughs> you, a bit more. Yeah, you might, might need a hose. <laughs>
regulations for uh, the Tasman Challenge are a little bit different and allow for slightly bigger engines. This one's actually got a two and a half litre Coventry Climax engine. Um, the series actually ran uh, between January and March 1965, so when the main uh, Grand Prix season wasn't working. Um, in fact that year uh, there were... So here we are at Headbutt. Um, pretty amazing. All of the cars are parked around the, the test track. I've, I've not actually been here since I was about eight, so it's kind of crazy being here right now um, with all of these cars parked around the track. What we're doing later on is we're going to be attempting a world record, basically to break the world record for the largest parade of Lotus cars. So I don't even know how many cars are here, but it should be pretty cool um, to be part of it. So, I'm in the Avora, um, so my new Avora I'm in today should be cool. Um, the unfortunately I couldn't get two car passes for the track, so the the Esprit that was driven by my uncle earlier is parked in the M Lock, uh, the cl car club car park. Um, but yeah, so look forward to taking you for a ride around the test track to attempt the world record.